Hey guys, so we're back again with another reading and this one is your July forecast. So we're gonna see everything going on in the month of July for you guys, whether it has to do with your love life, your career, your money situation, we're gonna see what you guys have to expect, all the messages you need to know about the month of July. And today we have a beautiful selection of cards for you guys to choose from. I did blur out the messages on the cards because I always want you guys to use your intuition, not necessarily go with the text or the title Title. just focus on the images and your intuitive one that you feel guided to choose and then as soon as you make up your mind you can just scroll down to the timestamps in the comments in the description and jump right into your pile I also want to mention to you guys that I do have my patreon up with a ton of additional readings I just posted one all about how you can improve your spiritual abilities your spiritual gifts and heighten your psychic abilities and use that to serve the collective so it's a really deep intense one but as soon as you sign up you get access to all my readings from the silly light-hearted fun ones the 18 plus ones the love runs the career ones the heavier ones the spiritual ones you get access to everything over 55 additional readings over at my patreon so if you'd like to sign up for that just head to the link underneath the timestamps in the comments in the description and I'd absolutely love to see you there. Also, if you guys want to get a private one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can also get that at my website briarrosetarot.com. You can sign up for a half hour or a full hour long session with me, have me pull tarot for you, read your astrology, channel mediumship or intuitively for you. You can do just an energy check-in, a love reading, career reading. You really get to ask me what you want. So if you would like to get a reading with me, like I said, head to my website briarrosetarot.com and the link for that is in my description thank you guys so much for watching now if you need more time to decide you can totally feel free to rewind pause and take as much time as you need but we're gonna go ahead and jump into pile one hey pile one welcome to your reading so your pick a card that you guys got is vanishing mirror ego sublimation and the other cards we got are fourth chakra archangel raphael door to value second chakra archangel ariel and envy so what i'm getting for you guys is you might be backstabbed by a friend this month and there might be a shady friend hanging around you guys that you have to look out for there may be someone in your life that isn't really wishing you well and that might be on your radar somehow i'm feeling like this is going to be a transitional month with this relationship so either you're going to have the revelation about who they really are and you might start putting up boundaries with them you might start really like putting up some walls or cutting them out or even i'm hearing like muting them on instagram or blocking them or something like that um but there's some boundaries going up with this person or they're gonna kind of stab you in the back if you continue to ignore this so there's kind of dual messages dual possible outcomes for this i feel like the choice is yours but there is this person kind of lurking around in the shadows that might not have your best interests at heart and i do feel like this month is about you guys acknowledging that sometimes i think in life we want to assume the best about people we want to you know think that everyone is on our side or everyone has our best interests at heart but sometimes there are people that are not wishing us well they might be jealous they might just be low vibrational people and the better we can acknowledge that the more we can move on and be in a better place and sometimes I think when we allow these people in our life it can even cause us like low-grade anxiety we got second chakra Archangel Ariel so that's kind of the root chakra activated and so sometimes when someone is allowing negative people around them they can feel a constant state of low-grade anxiety that kind of manifests down in the lower chakras that's where we feel feelings of safety so sometimes they can have issues with an upset stomach all the time you know they're always eating something and feeling like you know their stomach is just uncomfortable or they're getting bloating or something like that or just issues with the digestion can definitely be a sign of being around toxic people or having that fear mechanism activated all the time that's why um, they say like you gut feeling and stuff like that a lot of times it's because you're ignoring your gut feeling about this person you know they're shady you know they don't really like you but you just kind of are hoping for the best and ignoring the red flags and trying to like put a happy face on it and trying to pretend that the backhanded compliment they gave you or the little dig or whatever they didn't really mean it and they do like me and I feel like now it's 
like you are ready to level up in your life and a lot of you guys are ready to cut these people out and of course an important part of leveling up is cutting out the old and the people that would sabotage or be a hater or don't really want you to succeed it's creating boundaries and space in your life away from them so that they're not able to like bring you down or mess with you or anything like that so i feel like a lot of you guys are really stepping into that and you're truly learning to assert yourself and that you deserve to be treated really well in these relationships and if someone isn't giving that to you that you're not going to kind of hang around and turn a blind eye to it so let's get into some tarot cards as well Wait, before I do though, I do want to mention the door to value because this is very positive. So a lot of you guys are going to be moving forward in the month of July or whenever you're watching this with your financial situation. A lot of you guys are going to be making more money or you're focused on money. I feel like as you level up and as you're on this journey to leveling up, a lot of you guys are maybe having to learn these lessons and they're getting more intense and more intense. But I do feel like a lot of you guys are on this really positive trajectory financially and work-wise. So don't get too bogged down. It feels like if these relationships need to go in your life, then they just need to go. This is a good thing. It's a blessing to have this, you know, come come to your mind and be unable to ignore it anymore. I always compare these kinds of situations to like, you wouldn't just allow trash to accumulate in your house. What if you, you know, what if you just were like, oh, I'm never gonna take the trash out. You'd have a literal house from Horning Buried Alive where it's like stacked up with decades of old trash and like, you know, soda bottles from 1987 or whatever. So it's really important to take the trash out. And the trash in your life is maybe people that don't support you or don't vibe with you or aren't in energetic alignment with what you're trying to manifest. So let that go. Don't get too like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm getting rid of this person. Take it as a blessing. Just like that great feeling you have after you deep clean your apartment or take the trash out or anything like that. So you guys are moving forward financially and your guides just want to like acknowledge that, that that's a huge thing that's happening and continuing to happen this month. So we got also got the Emperor card. We got the Seven of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Oh my gosh, Ten of Swords and the Three of Wands. So again, I'm laughing because we just have a lot of these shady energetic cards from the Seven of Swords to the Five of Wands. So these people might really be trying to sabotage you this month or you might have unnecessary, um, some of you guys just might have unnecessary like interactions with people that are kind of unpleasant. It might be wise for you guys when, and I just saw 555 five, five on my timer and fives in tarot, not in numerology, but in tarot can be, you know, not necessarily the most positive card. In numerology, it's different, but in tarot, the fives are often, you know, like the five of swords fighting, um, or that's the seven of swords, but we have the five of wands. The five of swords is also not a super happy card. Um, five of pentacles, all of them. So my point is, is there is a maybe necessary feeling of watching out for things this month, maybe having your guard up when you go out to the store, maybe, you know, not um, expecting someone to make really pleasant small talk with you. I think when we go through these phases, like I always think this energy kind of reminds me of when I had Mars transiting into my first house and just stationed there. And it was a really tough summer. And I, I mentioned it before, but I felt like I, you know, if I went out to a coffee shop for some reason, the barista would like snap at me wherever I went. I just felt like there was all this unpleasant. I was actually, it's so funny. I was just thinking of this before the reading and, um, and I was like, why is this memory coming up? And now it makes perfect sense. But even like I took my car to have the oil changed and they broke the visor of my car. They snapped it off. And then when I got in my car, it was like in the, 
little compartment on the side of my car. I didn't even notice until I was like driving for a while and then gonna put down the visor. And then I was like, what happened to my visor? And then I called it and reported it. And I was like, uh, I think someone broke my visor when I was getting my oil changed. And the, the lady was like very rude to me. And she was like, well, we film everything. So we'll be checking and we'll be forwarding it to corporate and trust that we will be double checking. Oh, we'll get to the bottom of it. And she was kind of threatening me. And I was just thinking like how out of pocket it was. And I probably should have said something, but that's the thing that Mars transits through your first house teach you at the time. I was just kind of like, okay. And now I'd probably be like, excuse me, I didn't break my own visor off. Yeah, like forward it to corporate and don't talk to me like that. But that's the thing is these difficult situations can train you how to deal with conflict. And in that way, they're a blessing. In that way, even though it's unpleasant to go through those summers when you feel like people are just randomly coming against you, like, dang, you guys broke my visor and now you're mad at me, <laughs> like, one of those situations where you just feel like you can't win, but those train you to become stronger. You know what I mean? And those train you to not even let it get to you. Because I remember honestly, such a Pisces water, water, grandwater trying by, but I was, I was hurt. <laughs> My feelings were hurt that she would imply that I was like, that I had broken it. Like I, I felt a offended and bad about it now i'd like probably laugh in her face and be like ma'am i didn't break my own visor off and then report it like what the heck but um or like please watch the tapes because this is what you guys did but that's the thing is it makes you stronger it makes you have more of a wall up and more of a boundary up and maybe take it as like if people are being rude to you at this month you're going into as like awesome i'm training this is my gym month i'm getting stronger i'm feeling that burn in my muscles and i'm and i'm becoming more of who i'm supposed to be because as you level up and i feel like you guys really are on a great forward trajectory financially but this month you just might have random negativity directed at you and it might seem like you're in a lot of fights and I honestly feel a big part of this is because people can see you leveling up a lot of people around you are seeing you guys improve yourself and I love that the card you picked actually was ego sublimation I just picked it because of how beautiful I think the image is but I think this is another positive thing that happens with these kinds of transits is it really teaches you to kind of check your ego not to say that like oh you're so egotistical and you need you know you're too proud of yourself or something no but ego is when i think we get overly invested in like what a random person thinks of us like i think i was offended in that situation because i'm like why would she think i she thinks i'm a scammer she thinks i called in and like i had a broken visor and then i was like reporting it like i, I felt personally insulted that anyone would think that that's what I would do and I felt also baffled that she was so standoffish to me when I was the customer or whatever but my point is it's like who cares what a random lady <laughs> thinks of you at some auto body shop you know what I mean like who cares and that's what these difficult situations help you learn is to like put that out of your mind put that out of your like heart so that you're not taking it on so much so that you're not so offended if someone doesn't like you or is rude to you or snaps at you in a coffee shop and it's just like okay anyway on to the next and staying focused and staying in, on alignment a lot of those people are low vibrational maybe they're unhappy with their life maybe they are jealous of you and so they're gonna snap at you because they are trying to take you off route they can see and sense the trajectory of success you're on and they wish that they could kind of throw a cog in the wheel and stop that up and you know um, prevent that in some way because they know they'll never have that level of success so I do feel like a lot of you guys are making really big strides this month and your guides want you to keep your eyes on the prize I feel like this could be a really good month for you guys financially you could be earning a lot of money there is also a message that for some of you guys there could be increased expenses in the month of July some of you guys are going to be traveling with this three of wands um, so make sure that you are managing your finances and not signing up for things you can't afford because I do feel like you guys are earning more this month, but just make sure that, you know, you're 
taking a look at things and you're not overextending yourself or you are not signing up for things that you really you know can't afford or that would be a huge financial stress for you but honestly there is a message that as long as you're not doing anything too crazy i think you guys are going to be fine financially and kind of like trust this process and trust this journey that you're on because some of you guys have been stressed about that a lot. Let's get into some more cards. I'm gonna do a live shuffle of what is happening for pile one in the month of July. What is happening for pile one in the month of July? Okay, we got peace. What is happening for pile one in the month of July? Forgiveness, manifestation, commitment, and then two came out. We got trust, blessings. So yeah, again, I think your manifestations, all the things you guys have been focusing on, it feels like you're just one step closer and you guys have a lot of energy to do things this month. I feel like a lot of you guys are pouring your energy into what you're doing and you're stepping up into your status. I'm hearing some of you guys have a very enhanced status this month. People are noticing you more than they ever have and you're stepping into the spotlight in some way. And again, with that attention is going to come jealousy i'm hearing some people are going to have you on their mind more than ever for the month of july they're going to be noticing you more than they ever have in the past and if in the past they could d dismiss you lie to themselves be like pile one <laughs> they're not doing anything now they can't deny it anymore and that's where the problem is starting that's where the jealousy is starting to unravel and they're starting to really like it's getting under their skin um but i do feel like your blessings are doing really well and some of you guys are going to be surrounded by some friends that you really can trust so even though you have some friends or some people in your life or just nasty unpleasant strangers that are gonna be trying to cause problems for you you do have a little tribe or a group that you can enjoy and have fun with so make sure to seek out those opportunities if a friend that you just have a great feeling with you know they like you you know you can trust them invites you to do something be sure to say yes be sure to take up those opportunities and be sure to really enjoy and thank your guides every time you get aligned with a really kind like shopkeeper who like goes out of their way to chat with you or um, you know some random person you are standing next to in line and get into conversation make sure to really appreciate how special that is and how your guides aligned you with that person um, because you know a lot of times when we're going through those negative times, we can get very focused on all the negativity. And I feel like you guys need to stay focused so much on the end trajectory that you're on. A lot of you guys are going to be in a completely different financial situation in a year's time is what I'm hearing. It's going to look completely and totally different. You guys are going to be thriving financially. So stay focused on that stay looking forward and start paying attention or living like you're in that place and it's not going to bother you so much about the random person that snaps at you or is rude to you or whatever um you're going to be able to just keep your eyes on that prize so let's get some astrology dice for pile one for the month of july so we got pluto Mm, why am I not surprised? Okay, Pluto, the trash disposal energy. That's what I was saying, right? Literally, this is so Plutonian because Pluto is literally waste disposal. So it's like plumbing, sewers, taking out the trash. And that's what Pluto serves in our life. It really rips down. That was on Sag. Um, it really rips down all the things that need to go. So even though people are afraid of like the tower moment, um, that is something that is necessary and needs to happen. And it's only going to destroy what is no longer serving us. And in astrology, Pluto and Scorpio is the is has three levels the final level being the phoenix so it has the scorpio the eagle and then the phoenix and so it literally the phoenix is the bird that rises from the ashes so trusting and believing that all the negativity that's brought to you is being brought to you for a reason there's something you need to rip down because honestly not to harp on that story but i think it's a good metaphor or a good lesson or parable or whatever but like when i think back what makes me annoyed with that is that 
the lady was like so harsh when she was saying, you know, oh, we will double check trust. We are going to make sure that we pour over and we have lots of cameras and we'll be seeing exactly who did it. And honestly, it did kind of shake me up. So I didn't like follow through as much as I should have even though I didn't do it but when I finally got the call and they were like oh yeah so we checked it with the like we sent it back to corporate and it was only corporate who did this I know it wasn't the local people but it was corporate who had checked the video footage and they saw the person ripping out my visor just like I had said but I ended up just they were like so you can come in anytime and we'll repair the visor for you but I just had other things to do, <laughs> typical Pisces. I kind of like put it off and then it was like kind of too late and I never actually got them to, I never like put their feet to the fire and were like, yeah, you guys need to repair it and this is your fault. I think I was like too nice and I was like kind of like, oh, this, this energy of this woman being so rude to me, it just threw me off. And I look back now, you know, with more wisdom and I'm like, dude, I should have marched right in there and been like, okay, fix it now. And probably been like going up to exactly the lady that talked to me like that and been like, yeah, like you need, yeah, remember me? The one you said you were gonna pour over all the cameras? Yep, I'm back. And the corporate said that it was you guys who did it. Like, why would I even lie and make this up? I mean, I guess you could do that if you're being really shady. But my point is, I wish I'd had the mental wherewithal to be like, this is what needs to be done instead of letting someone's negativity get to me. So in a weird way, as much as you're like, gosh, that's really unfortunate that that experience happened to you. It's like not really because I needed to learn that lesson. I needed to be confronted with negativity over and over and over until I got a bit of a harder shell and didn't just go into my Pisces ignoring it vibe. Oh my God, that person was so mean. I'm just gonna like not deal with it. Unfortunately, there's always gonna be mean, nasty people no matter what. And that's why you need to learn to be assertive. We also got the emperor and no one knows that better than the emperor, um, Aries energy. So sometimes we've just got to take on, and as I'm saying Aries energy, first house Aries, and we also have Sag, two fire signs. And nobody like knows this better than the fire signs, how to stand up for themselves and also Scorpios. So no one gets it as much as these energies and maybe this month is a lesson for you guys to stand up to you know if someone is rude to you if someone is nasty to you then learning to literally put it out of your mind this is part of the journey and the trajectory towards success is learning that not everyone's going to be for you and in fact the more success you get literally the more people are going to be irritated by you the more people are going to be jealous the more they're going to be needlessly hostile and it's what what's important is not just acknowledging it because i think again back in the day i acknowledged it mentally i was like oh wow she was really rude but i didn't follow through to the second part which is like literally blocking it out and not letting nastiness rudeness cruelty affect your best behavior and decisions that are the best for you obviously it would have been best if i had just gone back and been like yeah fix this and i don't care that you're having a nasty attitude i don't care that you're directing rudeness towards me i don't care that energetically it's a little bit of a drain i'm gonna put on all my black crystals i'm gonna put on my black tourmaline and obsidian and i'm just gonna waltz right in and maybe i'll have to sage myself after <laughs> or take a spiritual bath but i'm getting this done and that's a life lesson is learning to have that endurance endurance and that strength and learning that all the negative negativity and nastiness and when we're too weak or we need to develop in some way then we're going to keep encountering that situation we're going to keep encountering nastiness or rudeness until we can learn to fix it and the situations will become progressively more and more bizarre <laughs> until we can figure out how to have a backbone or until we can figure out how to have compassion or until we can figure out how to xyz whatever spiritual lesson you do need to learn so i feel like this month don't take the the negativity or the rudeness directed at you as like oh my gosh or the haterade energy from friends whatever this is um, make sure that you're alchemizing this lesson with like okay I this is what I need to master and really I think for some of you guys this is cutting out long-term friends or even family that you kind of know they've been shady and they've been not really on your side but you've made excuses for it that might be that as well like who are the people in your life you're gonna have to ask yourself that question who are the people in your life that you know 
<laughs> like they don't really like you. They aren't really on your side. They always, you just always get that vibe that they're not really rooting for you. And why are you allowing them around you? And when are you gonna like block them on social media and stop talking to them or whatever? Even if you don't wanna block them, maybe mute them, but putting those walls up is one of the best things you can do because it's kind of like also like cities get destroyed from the inside, right? That's the number one like war tactic is sneaking in some, you know, soldier inside the city walls so they can like let the whole rest of the army in, sabotage it, you know, and once when you keep someone out and you have strong boundaries, there's no way they can get inside. So don't be like me with that rude lady and just be like, okay, you know what? And and just be weak about it. Be strong, be tough, you know, go into your Aries mode, go into your fire sign mode or your Scorpio mode and learn to fight because that's the most valuable lesson that all those signs know so deeply and we all need to take on lessons from that for July, especially for you guys. So anyways, I really hope that resonated, guys. Let me know how it did in the comments. I always love hearing from you and hearing your thoughts and your observations and stuff. I'm a little sick today, so I hope my voice doesn't sound too scratchy. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sending you so much love and light, and I'll be back very soon again for another reading. Oh, and also, of course, I almost forgot to mention that I do have my Patreon up with a ton of additional readings. So if you wanna see more of my content, head on over there to watch more of them when you sign up you get access to over 50 additional readings of mine about all different kinds of subjects so i would absolutely love to see you guys join me over on patreon and over with all that kind of content and if you guys want to get a private one-on-one -on -one reading with me you know where to go briarrosetarot.com link is in my description for that as well again thank you guys so much for watching and i'm sending you lots and lots of love and i'll see you next time bye Hey Pile 2, welcome to your reading. So for your Oracle card, you guys got Watchers, Transpersonal. And for your other cards, you got Magician and the Mirror, Rest and Rejuvenation, Indecision, and Door to Romance. So July is going to be an amazing month for you guys. Pile 2, a lot of you guys are going to have a ton of social activities going on. Some of you are going to be traveling. I'm hearing some people are going on road trips. But this is going to be a really fun month, and it feels like it's a bit of a break for you if you have been working really hard and you have been in maybe stuck in a routine or things haven't been as interesting or you've just been working your tail off rest assured july is going to come in to kind of take the edge off and just make things a little bit easier on you and a lot of you guys are going to be having quite a bit of fun if you guys are wanting to be dating this is going to be an excellent month to do it there's a lot of opportunities for romance and there's a lot of opportunities for meeting people a lot of people are going to be noticing you you're going to be on quite a lot of people's minds look at this watchers transpersonal card so a lot of people are going to be paying attention to you a lot of people are going to be noticing you possibly checking you out on social media or if you have an online dating profile you might have one of those times when like they randomly decide to feature your profile or something and you get like a ton more matches you guys are going to really have a lot of opportunities to date and to meet people this month and if you do go out to restaurants cafes bars a lot of people are going to be paying attention to you some of you guys might have adapted a new look recently or you will be adapting a new look doing something different with how you dress maybe you know you just changed something up or you used to have a staple wardrobe and now you switched it up or something but a lot of people are going to be noticing you with this new look. And if you have been feeling called of like, yeah, I feel it just randomly, I don't know, I wanna change out my hair color, or I'm gonna switch from skinny jeans to wide-legged or whatever you're thinking of, I feel like if you guys make that change, you're gonna love the reactions you get, you're gonna love how people treat you, and it's going to definitely command attention from others. You also might be able to, like I said, not work so hard this month. We got rest and rejuvenation. So if you were wanting to kind of like pull the reins in on your work schedule and maybe, you know, take a little bit of time off or even go to a retreat or start 
doing more self-care for yourself, this is gonna be a great month for you guys to do that. And there's a lot of opportunities and kind of a call for you to slow down. I feel like a lot of you guys have done quite a lot. You've been really busy and there's been a lot of things you've been working on, pressure you've been putting on yourself. And I feel like your guides are kind of like, for July, it's okay for you to chill and kind of bask in the glow of everything you earned for yourself. With also this Magician and the Mirror card, that is a card that can say that your wishes are really coming true that you have become this magician energy and you've mastered a lot with yourself so rest assured that you have earned this and like this is a result of some of the work you've done i feel like now you're able to master that balance where you're not going to completely go off the rails and like never work again but you're also so you might even be balancing and like still working, but then having like more time off or like afterwards, instead of just going home and crashing and just not doing anything, you take the time to go for a little walk around your neighborhood or you take the time to go to a little sidewalk cafe and have a little dessert and a glass of wine or something. I love dessert and wine together, by the way, if you haven't tried it. Oh my god it's the best i'm always pressuring my friends into getting like a glass of wine if we get dessert and having like chocolate with red wine is my absolute favorite but anyway so maybe you guys will be doing something like that but there's more of an opportunity i feel like and more of your guides are wanting you to take that time out to do things for yourself and i feel like in july um again you're gonna have a lot of opportunities for that some of you guys might be struggling with a big decision i'm hearing for some of you guys that's a move or possibly like a, um, a big vacation or something, but I'm seeing like a new location and kind of like someone debating over a location and going back and forth in their mind. And there might be a lot of deliberation and indecision, which we got at the card, because some of you guys might be very torn because they're both great options. Like either way, it feels like you can't go wrong. So just listen to your heart and go with what you want, but like don't stress too much about it because whatever you choose, I feel like it's going to work out let's get into some of the tarot and I just dropped them so that's awesome maybe we'll start with these and then I'll pick those up but we got the hermit we got the king of cups and the hierophant reverse so just talking about the hierophant reverse to start off there might be something you're doing that is a little bit outside the norm or a little bit outside your usual behavior again I'm, I'm having that wardrobe decision come to mind that wardrobe shift maybe you guys always dress in a certain way Way to fit in with a certain crowd and now you're like really changing that or you're up leveling or you're willing to be a little bit more unusual of a dresser or do something a little bit more outside the box but with the hierophant refers you might also be really wanting to throw off some shackles of like conformity or expectation so it might be that it just starts irritating you the job that you're at and like having really strict rules or it might be that you want to do something kind of wild or that you've always been you know the kind of person who would like never flirt and you're very like one relationship type of person and now you're in a vibe and an energy where you're kind of like i want to have like a hot girl summer and i want to kind of flirt and i want to kind of go out and like just talk to different people and have fun and enjoy myself but the thing is i feel like you guys are really throwing off some expectations that others have had for you or even expectations you had for yourself maybe some ingrained beliefs you had about like how a woman is supposed to act or how a man is supposed to or whatever and now you're like I'm gonna step into my independence and I feel like this is a very positive thing so in July if this is something that comes up for you if there's something like maybe if it's even something like I was saying like that wardrobe where you're like oh my god I can never wear that like that blouse is way too low cut or that skirt is way too short and like I can't do that and maybe it would be a powerful thing for you to kind of like if you love that blouse and you're obsessed with it and yeah it's low cut buy it anyway and maybe it's okay but even if you don't love it like it, and you're just like i just want to show myself off a little bit more maybe there's something powerful about that about your kind of self-growth and claiming you know your own venus energy or something but i feel like some of you guys are really going to almost like push the boundaries with yourself this month you might surprise yourself you might if you're traveling for some of you guys these are going to be transformative travel experiences where like you discover a new part of yourself like maybe you stay up until sunrise dancing at a club in italy and at home you're a bit of a homebody and you would never do that and then you realize i freaking love dancing at bars and i love dancing on the table and you know what maybe you've always been like a relationship person but you find yourself making out with like 
cute Italian guy and you have a little vacation playing with him and it ends up being something that like wakes your soul up and you just feel fantastic. Of course, always watch your safety and never do anything that, you know, like be careful because there's predatory people out there in the world and you never want to put your beautiful self at risk. But if it's something that intuitively feels good to you, you are having fun, you're enjoying yourself and genuinely it genuinely feels like this is the moment, this is how this I love it, then you know what, go for it. And some of you guys are going to be doing things, like I said, that surprise yourself. And I feel like it's like lean in, drink it all in, enjoy as much as you can. So if you've been kind of stressed about like, yeah, some of my friends wanna go clubbing on this vacation, but you know, it's just, I don't wanna seem trashy, like put that out of your mind and do you and lean into what you want for yourself. Step out of the crowd or what other people are expecting of you or labels people are trying to put on you because sometimes I think people put labels on people because they want to limit them you know so they don't want to see maybe they see like a, a girl looking absolutely stunningly beautiful and they are jealous because they can't look that good or whatever or they don't think they can so instead they'll be like oh my god she's so full of herself oh I hate her oh she seems like such a jerk or whatever you know what I mean so seeking out other people's validation is so pointless they're gonna hate regardless so you might as well give them a show right and people are definitely watching you um, people are definitely paying attention to everything you guys have going on and i feel like this is very powerful you know it's kind of like bejeweled by taylor swift i love the lyrics in that where she says you know um i can still make the whole room shimmer and stuff i think it's such a powerful like female song to just there's something powerful as a woman to like get all dressed up and sometimes and just feel gorgeous you know it, it honestly just does something it's something magical and it really empowers you so maybe there's something about if you're like oh I always dress down you know maybe take a little bit of extra time to you know dress up how you like how I would never pressure someone to wear makeup if they don't wear it or they don't like it and have objections to it I get it but there's something powerful sometimes about feeling gorgeous, really feeling your highest vibe of yourself, knowing that you are that girl. And so, you know, if that's an opportunity that comes up for you, definitely do it. Or that guy, you know, guys can do it too. Um, but yeah, and like I said, a lot of opportunity for romance, definitely with a water sign. So we have um, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And yeah, we also got, I'm getting into some of the other cards, King of Pentacles. So that's also Earth energy. And we have Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus in um, Pentacle energy. So some of you guys might be, you know, trying to talk to someone like that. But I also feel like you guys will have multiple suitors, multiple people who are interested in being with you, um, multiple people who are noticing you. And so it's kind of like you have got to, you get to take your pick this month. You might even feel a little drawn, but like, like torn. But honestly, one thing that Spirit is bringing to mind is you guys are great flirts this month. And I feel like spirit is really wanting you in your romantic relationships. And this is a big message, especially for those of you who maybe you're like, yeah, I've been trying to date, but it just hasn't worked out with anyone or whatever, is to really flirt and be playful with it. Have fun. I feel like that's your message or your mantra for the month of July is just to seek out things that feel fun, feel light, feel easy, feel good to you, feel lighthearted, feel enjoyable, make you laugh. Those kinds of things are exactly what you should seek out because I feel like it's almost like that's going to take some of the pressure off you guys if you're just like oh i'm in it for the laughs i'm having a good time and don't be afraid to have a little flirty banter with the guys that you're talking to don't be afraid to go out and have a laugh make a story um but yeah honestly like this month of july just seems like a vibe for you guys i'm kind of like ooh, can i come this sounds like a really fun month let's get into more cards page of cups nine of pentacles and the ace of wands i just am laughing because like i love it it's so positive um 
so much fun like page of cups is someone that i think really seeks out fun and you know creative situations emotional situations seeks out relationships actively it's to me the page of cups is a kind of light-hearted energy because page is the youngest of the suit cards and then cups is i mean cups is a lot of things it can be a heavier energy when it's emotional but it's also spirituality it's kind of creativity it can be fun emotions and with pay the page since the page is so young I take it as more of like the light-hearted fun like relationships and charm and easygoing and you know that kind of a thing is how it resonates with me especially in this reading so I feel like for a lot of you guys it's like making sure that again you're pushing yourself to do those fun things and you're not staying holed up inside I definitely don't think that's the vibe for you guys so if someone invites you to go for a little walk to the local coffee shop or if someone invites you to go for a drink or an aperitivo definitely say yes with the nine of pentacles you guys might be totally good financially this this month so if you're like yeah I really want to go on that vacation but you know I'm supposed to save money or something of course if you can't spend it you can't spend it totally get that but you know being in an energy sometimes also it helps to spend money to alchemize yourself with that energy so like spending a little money to put yourself in a good vibe to make yourself feel high vibe to you know just enjoy can be a really positive thing and put you on that positive trajectory and i feel like you guys are going to have the money to get to do these things this month so don't worry about that and you guys might find yourselves in a lot of luxurious surroundings surrounded by luxurious people you might find yourself in like nice restaurants like even if you go out to eat and i apologize my voice i think is really scratchy i'm kind of sick but um if you go out to eat you guys might find yourself in like the nice nice cute aesthetic restaurants so maybe you were like oh i just want a sandwich but you walk in and it's like a beautiful restaurant from like 1942 and you're like oh my god this original features and beautiful wallpaper because you guys know how i feel about these ugly little cement block brutalist horrible horror show restaurants that they're putting out now like i just what is going on it's so low vibrational i can't so i will do anything to go into a beautiful restaurant and you might find yourself like randomly stumbling in even when you're not seeking that out um and like i said there's a lot of opportunity to kind of like have fun hook up enjoy yourself in that way um and you also might get a lot of new creative ideas a new business idea you might be making very valuable connections meeting people that um, might be also very successful and it might be that relationships is a major focus for you in the month of july and that you're supposed to really put yourself out there and kind of let things unfold for you when it comes to like i said meeting new people and um creating those kind of connections let's get into some of these cards so we're going to do a live shuffle for pile number two we got confidence yes you guys have a lot of confidence transformation i love the butterfly coming out of the shell beauty i'm going to read these upright because usually i think they're supposed to be read upright um but transformation beauty Oh my gosh, Courage, Leo Energy. And I keep hearing Bejeweled play in my mind, so I really think that's your theme song for the month is like, like I said, I can make the whole room shimmer and I can get dressed, ba uh, dressed back up and have everyone notice me. And that might be a real boost to your confidence. It's kind of like maybe you haven't done that for a while or you haven't fully leaned into it. And this is all about feeling confident. This is all about you guys realizing how powerful you are and how you are that girl or that guy and when you are at the party like all eyes are on you and that you bring so much energy to a function or, or to a situation you're such a vibe pile too so i think they really want you to start feeling yourself this month and we also got beauty like i said you guys are really looking good this month so many people are noticing it and i think it's really key for you to just be courageous and be bold don't be holding yourself back this month or staying inside too much definitely make sure to be out and about and take those opportunities when they present themselves if someone does invite you to something say yes if you get some opportunity to be on some kind of platform or anything like that definitely say yes and just say yes this month let's get into some astrology dice what's happening for pile 
to in the month of July. So we got Scorpio, Sun, or Leo energy, not a surprise, and the third house. So we have Gemini, Leo, and Scorpio coming through. And also because of Scorpio and um, Leo coming out, both fixed signs, it's reminding me of the world card. And the world card is about putting yourself out there in the world. That's one of its meanings. Um, it's also about being at a point of completion. And again, I feel like this month of July is something that really is hard one for you guys. Like you guys have, I'm hearing a lot of you guys have worked hard. And so it's like, enjoy this time, enjoy this era because you have put in the work and you absolutely deserve it. And I think you guys know that. I think you know that like, you have, like I said, put in the work. It's been a long time coming. And now this is the time for you to really reap your rewards and enjoy all the work and the effort you put in. Then we have a third house. Third house is very social. It's all about communication. It's ruled by Gemini, which is an air sign and is incredible. I like talking to people, very curious, always liking to explore things. It also has to do with short-term travel or like short distance travel. So again, for you guys, there is an energy of getting out there and exploring and also being open to chatting, meeting new people, get, being open to being in conversation with a stranger, letting those things take you where you want to go. So like, don't be afraid if you meet someone new or if you run into someone or if you, you know, uh, like are next to someone that you've never met before at a party, don't be afraid to start a conversation and get a vibe going and exchange contact information. There might be a lot of opportunities that come up and present themselves to you for new relationships, for new people. So take oper take advantage of that, you know, make sure to say yes. And like I said, with the sun, the all eyes are on you for the month of July. Some of you guys might literally be going out and sun tanning. I mean, it is July or spending a lot of time in the sun. You might even be dressing up in like kind of like sun-kissed fashion like coconut girl or even just like you know I always think the color white against like tan skin or darker skin can look so pretty in the summer because um, it just really brings out those colors not that it doesn't look good on pale skin as well but you know I don't know maybe you'll just be wearing a lot of those kinds of summery beachy fashions and make sure you're adorning yourselves very well this month and you're actually putting a lot of that effort in and seeking out like saying yes going to things and then we also have Scorpio and Scorpio is definitely a transformational energy it's also the eighth house which does deal with sex so there's again this kind of sexy energy surrounding you guys and a lot of opportunity for changing kind of up leveling yourself and growing and getting better and um, transforming in a really positive way and in a really positive trajectory so allow yourself to kind of be swept away by this beauty of life allow yourself to enjoy and experience sometimes it's even like let your heart get broken trust me it'll fix itself it'll heal but like don't be afraid to seek out those things don't be afraid to have fun don't be afraid to meet talk to people to go out there I think you guys will be delighted and be surprised because I actually think even if you guys go out to like a restaurant or a little sidewalk cafe or whatever like you are going to be aligned to meet exactly the perfect people you're not going to have to worry as much about having the randomly rude waiter or having the person sitting next to you who's just really cold and standoffish and rude you might be surprised that like every time you go out you get the nicest waiter who just wants to chat with you and you get seated next to this really fun like group of friends and then they like start talking to you and then next thing you know you're you guys are joining their table or whatever but don't be afraid to put yourself out there and just allow this magic to flow with you because i think this is a month when your guides really want you to enjoy to take part to allow to even maybe go on a shopping spree or change your outfit or your vibe but like this is a fun month with an emphasis on fun enjoyment and living your best life so anyways i think that's what i have for you guys pile one i really hope that resonated with you if it did let me know in the comments i always love hearing from you hearing your thoughts and your reactions and all of it so definitely let me know in the comments also make sure to give this reading a thumbs up hit the like button if it did resonate with you and make sure to subscribe turn on notifications by hitting the little bell so you can find out as soon as i post and if you guys want to see more of my readings be sure to head to my patreon where I post all my additional readings. I just posted one 
Oh wait, I don't even remember what I posted. Um, well, you can go check on my Patreon <laughs> to see what I posted. Oh, it's how to improve your spiritual gifts to share them with the collective. So it's a really deep one. But as soon as you sign up, you get access to all my additional readings, over 50 additional readings about love, spirituality, future lives, past lives, so many different topics. So definitely, like I said, check it out over at the link underneath the timestamps in the comments in the description. And I would love to see you over at Patreon. And if you guys want to get a private one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can also get that at my website, briarrosetarot.com. So with all of that being said, thank you guys so much much for watching. I'm sorry my voice is so messed up, but I think I am getting sick. But anyway, I'll see you guys soon in another reading. Take care guys and I'll see you then. Bye. Hey Pile 3, welcome to your reading. So for your oracle card, you guys got Dances on One Foot, Balancing Act. For your other cards, you guys got Blossoming, Abundance, Woman Holding a Coin, Six Chakra, Archangel Metatron, and All Tied Up. So for you guys in the month of July, it feels like you're working on a goal and it feels like you're stepping towards something. There might be a lot of responsibilities on your plate and a lot that you guys are dealing with, but trust and believe that this energy is setting you guys up to get paid. A lot of you guys are making really incredible strides with your career or with a manifestation you guys have been trying to bring in. This might be a very good financial month for you guys where you're getting a windfall of money or where, where you're just building up whatever business this is and you might be even checking off milestones is what I'm hearing accomplishing things that have been a really long time coming and things that you have envisioned for a long time but you might be very busy with that in fact sometimes you might be feeling a little drained or overwhelmed this month with the number of responsibilities that you have on your plate you might be having a very busy schedule and just be booked and busy and doing a lot this month um, so there's kind of the good with the bad this month and you guys might also be very psychically in tune this month we got sixth chakra archangel metatron showing the third eye chakra activated so some of you guys might be having very prophetic dreams envisioning things happening in the future and you should really pay attention to the messages and downloads that you get this month because they're going to be super super accurate but for you guys it's really appropriate that you got this dances on one foot balancing act card because i feel like for you guys this month this is going to be a bit of a balancing act it might be a little bit of a hardship to try to figure out exactly how to balance everything exactly how to get everything in place and to handle everything all the obligations you have on your plate your schedule and all of that it might really take a lot of kind of fine angling to get everything right and to get everything happening on the right schedule and you might be feeling a little burnt out at times or a little overwhelmed but this could also just be a really amazing financial month and i again i'm hearing for some of you guys this is something you've wanted for a really long time even for some of you in pile three this could be a pregnancy or something like that only for some of you but if there's something you have put your eyes on and you've been like oh i really want that to happen that is a major goal of mine it's going to be happening in this upcoming month of July. So it's gonna be super exciting and you guys are going to be achieving things, ticking them off, and it's going to be such a great feeling. I feel like you're gonna leave the month of July so empowered, just really knowing your self-worth, knowing what you bring to the table and being like, wow, if I could get this done, I can do anything. Like, if I can handle all of this, then I nothing is off limits for me. I can literally make anything happen. I can make magic happen. So let's get into some more cards. So. We got the King of Wands reversed, the Eight of Swords reversed, Page of Wands, the Strength card, the Three of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So there is a little bit of an interesting, I think, warning coming in because the King of Wands is reversed and the Page of Wands is upright. And in some ways, this could be an arguably kind of similar energy because the King of Wands, you know, all the kings are a little bit more balanced. They're an older energy. They are going to be more kind of reserved or calm or chill or uh, disciplined about things. And then we have the Page and the Page is the young youngest of the court cards and especially the page of wands tends to be very impulsive very like 
driven by their feelings in the moment, very like emotional and kind of like spur of the moment, just making choices and just doing what they want and just very also impatient. So there is a message for you guys to be very patient. If this is a goal that you guys are working towards, I feel like spirit wants you to know that you guys are really making a lot of forward trajectory in this month of July. But if there's something you're like, I really want this to happen now, 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 or you find yourself getting impatient or wondering like, okay, yeah, I ticked this off, but when is this going to happen? Or I thought this was going to be taking place by now or whatever to stay really patient because that energy is so like not the vibe when it comes to achievement. We have to stay long-term focused and focused on the, keeping our eyes on the prize, not getting caught up in the moment of like, okay, but I have to deal with this right now. It's like, yeah, and it's preparing you for that in the end. So some of you guys might be feeling a little overwhelmed or overburdened with your schedule or there might be some disappointments coming in. We did get the Eight of Swords reverse and the Three of Swords. With the Eight of Swords reverse, some of you guys might be seeing a situation clearly for the first time in a really long time. There might have been something that you guys have been trying to keep kind of rose-colored glasses about, trying to see the best in it or look on the bright side or be very positive about a situation that might not warrant it. You might be even trying to kind of block out and not see what's happening. You might have been in that energy where you were like I'm just gonna kind of put my hands over my ears and ignore it and just kind of pretend like la 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 nothing's happening around me and now you're finally willing to take that blindfold off and really see this situation for what it is and honestly I feel like you know this that's always a painful moment the moment when we take the blindfold off and really are willing to acknowledge whatever we're going through it can be really difficult and it can be something that causes us a lot of pain so there might be a big realization that happens in the month of July and Spirit is telling you guys not to make any rash or crazy last minute decisions. Don't rush through the process. Don't be like, oh my God, it's just, you know what, I'm doing this. Like, that's not, that's so the energy of the Page of Wands is just like, you know what, screw it. I'm just, and that is not how you get things done in life. That's why Mars is exalted in Capricorn. I always mention that because, you know, Capricorn's all about patience. It's all about long term vision. It's very down to earth. It's very like, uh, willing to take on hardship since it's Saturn ruled. It's willing to see, see the long game. It will never rush. It's probably like the most patient energy. And so Mars is exalted there because that is literally the best way to achieve something is to have that long-term vision is to not be full of fire and brimstone in the moment and just be like, I got to do it. But to really stay at it day in, day out, take your licks, fall down a little bit and get back up and keep going. And so there is a call for you guys if there has been a disappointment or there's something that you're just impatient about while you guys might be some of that be seeing some of that come through in July there's also this reminder to keep your eyes focused on the prize because I feel like a lot of you guys are building something really special and even if you're not building it now or you're like what are you talking about like I keep I keep wanting to know what I'm even supposed to do with my career I feel so rootless I feel aimless I feel like I'm not doing anything I don't have anything to work towards don't worry because because things are happening in divine timing and it is going to play, play out in the end and pay off in the end. And just maybe there is a call for you to really take a note of all your psychic visions this month again i feel like you guys are very psychic so whenever there's something especially at this time so if there's something that you guys want clarity on if you're like you know i want to know what i'm supposed to do for my life purpose or i really want to know what i'm supposed to who i'm supposed to marry or whatever then of course you can always book a reading with me but also make sure to ask your guides to show them to you i mean your guides will show the answers to you your guides will let you know sometimes that process can take a while but your guides will give you insight guidance visions and clarity especially if you call on them and invoke them and ask them to do so tell them i want to know i want to see what i'm supposed to do with xyz i need some clarity about blah 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 i need to know how i'm going to be with this i need to know what i'm doing with that and trust and believe that they will do that with the process they sometimes it takes a little bit longer when you're following your guidance from spirit sometimes they don't show you the whole thing right away but a lot of times they absolutely will 
um, give you insights, clues, and guidance. And when you start paying attention and kind of let the, letting them steer you, letting them take you down the path, then things will start to make sense at a certain point and you'll be like, oh, so that's why that happened. So don't be afraid to trust the process over to spirit. I just saw though a list of people who like did things at different ages and it was so crazy. Like I think they said Samuel L. Jackson got his first role at like 48 and you know, I think it's like Grandma Moses, the famous painter, she started painting at like 70. There's so many people that start things at different phases in life. So don't ever feel like, oh my gosh, I'm not on the right timeline or get frustrated. I feel like this is a really call, a big call for you guys in pile three to be very patient, to listen and trust this process. And there might be things that happen to you in July that just bring that energy out or might even feel frustrating. Like maybe you're like, I really wanna move ahead with this and it feels a little stagnant or it just feels stalled or it doesn't feel like it's moving ahead. And of course you can always take steps to question like, how could I maybe looking through this situation and seeing like, well, how could I move this forward faster? Are there different things I could be doing? Is there something I could change? Is there something I could alchemize or just switch around? But also understanding that it is a process and that everything is happening in divine timing and that, you know, God is ultimately in control of the timing. So if it's not happening now, then it's not the right time. And when it does happen, it's going to be freaking amazing. But I do feel like you're making making a lot of forward momentum and a lot of forward trajectory on whatever this is in July and keep yourselves very focused on that and reminding yourself of that. I just saw the image of like a, a house being renovated. So for some of you guys, that might be something you're doing or something you're working on, or maybe some of you guys are even searching for a house or a new apartment. And maybe that's been part of the frustrating process is just wondering like, when am I gonna find the right house? When is this gonna happen for me? Um, but again, I think like trust the process and knowing that it's happening in divine order is really crucial and key for you guys um, we also got the strength card which again it's all about resilience it's all about um, keeping a long-term vision and for some of you guys as well you might be starting a new fitness routine or a new diet or exercise regime some of you guys might be cha making changes to your actual physical body and again that re just reminder of patience that all good things in life do take time so if this is a month of you guys starting on the journey or continuing on the journey or even getting to see one big milestone within the journey but don't take your eyes off that prize and just know that like i said it's unfolding in divine timing so don't be rushed or impatient or feel like it has to happen now, now, now. It, it's going at the right pace. So let's get into some of these cards. I'm going to do a live shuffle. What card is this? New beginnings. Oh, wow. So there may be some new beginnings happening for you guys in the month of July. And again, with this page of wands, king of wands reverse, I would just say don't rush into things. There also could be, it's worth noting, a fire sign person. This would be a younger person because um, the page is upright and the king is reversed. So you might be dating a younger fire sign, a younger Leo, Aries, or Sag. And this person, you know, with the page, that can sometimes indicate that this person isn't actually super loyal. Um, it, it can indicate a bit of like an F-boy energy, you know, where someone might be dating around a lot or going on multiple dates, very flirty, and doesn't really have intentions of being long-term committed. So it's something to be aware of. And so if you do meet someone like this, then enjoy have your fun but maybe knowing what it is or recognizing what it is recognizing that this person might be coming in but they might not have intentions for like a super long-term intense commitment it might be something where they are just wanting something in the moment to have fun to enjoy themselves to party and if that's your vibe and you are looking for some fun then this will be a great month for you um but i also feel like again you guys are going to have you know, a lot of stuff on your plate that you might be working with. You might also just have a very busy schedule or something like that. But there could be an energy of heartbreak 
or just getting your feelings hurt or not seeing this person as what they really are. And I feel like, again, with that sixth chakra Archangel Metatron card we got, there is a reminder that you guys are super psychic. So pay attention to your intuition. If you do meet someone like this and you do feel like they don't fully seem committed, but they're really charming and they're saying all the right things, listen to your gut and your intuition above everything. But there is some chance of new opportunities, new beginnings, and I feel like if there is a business opportunity or a new fresh endeavor or financial um, situation presented to you, a new opportunity of some kind, then definitely take that. Maybe you get a business idea. Maybe you, um, maybe you have a thought of, oh my gosh, I could pivot my business to this or I could get this new job or whatever. And I feel like it's like the vibe here for the month is kind of like if you want to build anything long-term, slow and steady is the vibe. Just like you know someone's kind of an F-boy because they come in with the love bombing and the like romance and the charm and they're coming on super strong and they definitely don't want to wait. And if you're like, oh yeah, that, well, I can't really see you right now, but uh, we could go plan a date for two weeks from now. They're going to be like dipped because if they can't meet up with you in like five minutes, they're not interested. You know what I mean? And that's how you know someone doesn't have long-term intentions. Whereas someone who has long-term intentions with you, if you're like, yeah, I can't right now, they're probably not even going to ask you, send you that text of like, what are you doing? Come over now. Because they know that would be kind of not the energy of long-term. The energy of long-term is like, I want to meet up with you and... Um, you know, do you have a opening for Thursday night? Can I take you out to a restaurant? You know what I mean? So think about um, the energy of anything is slow and steady. The energy of a long-term thing is going to be a little more patient. I hope that makes sense. Let's get into some more cards. We got fertility. Wow, and that's funny because I know I said there might be a pregnancy for some of you guys is what I'm hearing. So definitely more confirmation on that. Spirit guide. Yeah, your guides are around you super strong. That was too many cards. So let me put those back. Your guides are around you super strong. And then we got blessings and trust. Okay. And grieving. So there also might be a message if some of you guys have been dealing with grieving or something you've been upset about, something that has felt like a big loss in your life, there is a message that, again, time passes. And the best vibe you can take, I think, the best attitude you're gonna have is slow and steady. So like, yeah, it sucks to be grieving anything, a relationship, a person, you know, whatever the case may be an old life, it sucks to be going through those grief stages. And I think the problem is sometimes people wanna rush out of them. Part of life is acknowledging that there are certain people, places and things you'll probably always miss. You'll probably always carry them in your heart. You'll probably always have a soft spot for them. You'll probably always think of them fondly or sadly, but that's kind of okay. You know what I mean? Like life doesn't have to be 100% perfect, to be honest, maybe this sounds really p pessimistic, but Maybe it's my Mars and Capricorn talking of like, I'm willing to deal with some hardship. You know what I mean? As long as I get what I want in the end, I don't really care. Um, and I think sometimes you have to, you have to just accept that like, that's what's going to be going on. And I think sometimes people like they'll, someone in their life that they really loved will pass. And of course it's totally understandable to be grieving, but it's also really smart to have an attitude of like, you know what, this is okay. And it's okay for me to feel this way. And I don't need to take myself out of the moment. I don't need to do anything to numb my emotions, whatever that disappointment may be. I can deal with it. I can stay strong in the moment. I can withstand this and I will come out on the other side of this okay. And there'll be sad moments, but there'll also be moments that are incandescently happy and full of joy. And so, you know, maybe that's just a message for some of you guys, but if there's something you're grieving, because we did get the Eight of Swords reversed and the Three of Swords, um, if there's something, some kind of heartbreak that you're kind of rushing through, just a message that, you know, you don't need to distract yourself. Um, it's okay for you to stay in the moment. It's okay for you to deal with a little bit of sadness because that's part of the process. But also now that I think about it with that page of wands upright, it can also show you that 
sometimes there can be a time and a place when it's okay to be in that page of wands energy and it's okay for you to seek out fun things and not take things so serious and if you're like really full of a heavy energy around you not to say be reckless and impulsive i definitely don't think that's something you want to do but maybe it's like you know i've been stuck inside all day i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna go to the local bowling alley and invite my friend and just have a laugh for the night you know where i'm just gonna go um out and do a fun little hike and listen to some music and just go shopping at my favorite store just to have fun just to shake this energy up so take it how it resonates with you but i feel like those are some of the messages coming through for you let's get into some astrology dice we got the 11th house scorpio and we got jupiter so jupiter is also on that wheel of fortune card so double jupiter but sagittarius energy aquarius energy and scorpio energy so very fixed sign type energy um although of course sagittarius is a mutable sign but um aquarius and scorpio are fixed um but anyway so 11th house house of friends other people it's also hopes and dreams and again i feel like there's a really strong message for you pile three about how you guys are just taking steps step after step getting closer and closer to some really grand vision really grand idea you've had in your mind something that you guys have wanted for a really long time and just to be knowing and just to take this reading as some confirmation that regardless of what does happen in this month of july you're on that trajectory for that you are going to achieve whatever this is you are going to make this happen it's not a question of if it's a question of when and just take this month as another step in that right direction that you guys are going for it that you guys have made up your mind and it is going to happen and i feel like this is a working month i feel like this is a month when you guys are pushing yourself you're making strides you're putting in the work Maybe you're not quite there yet, but don't worry because I do feel like things are going to be on your side in the long run. And it's funny, we got the Wheel of Fortune reverse and then we got Jupiter because the Wheel of Fortune can show you when luck isn't on your side. When it's reversed, the Wheel of Fortune card will show you whether luck is on your side if it's upright or when it's reversed, when it's kind of working against you. But there's something so powerful about the symbol of the Wheel of Fortune. I really love it as a card because it really is a very deep truth about how even even when things feel like they aren't going our way, it's inevitable that that energy will shift at a certain point. It's just a matter of time. It's like a universal law. So even if things seem like they are going to heck and nothing is going right and everything is working out against us, we have to stay so focused on the fact that at a certain point this is going to shift it is going to change it is going to flip and in a weird way we should celebrate it more when things aren't working out for us because that means that it's inevitable that things are going to start coming up roses very soon that we are going to have a rainstorm of blessings in our future if we're getting a rainstorm of sorrows in the meantime so like i said don't worry about whenever we are going through that hardship we have have to stay focused on like this is not going to last forever or if we have a hard week or month where things just don't seem to be working out or where things just seem really tough we have to keep our mind in the right place and we will get there in the end eighth house is also a house of kind of traumas and it can be a house of kind of bad habits and things that kind of need to be purged out of our life it can have to do with kind of like endings and transformations that scorpio energy um so again i feel like for you this is a month where you guys are kind of working steadily is what it feels like i don't feel like you guys are necessarily transforming a whole lot this month um but there is an emphasis on relationships meeting others there can be a, an emphasis on sexuality with that scorpio energy and that page of wands can certainly fit that because again this might be someone who's just very sexy um, but doesn't have necessarily those long-term intentions so if that's something you want go for it but if it's something where you're like no no i want long term then maybe push this person away or don't go for it um, but i think this is just overall a call for you guys to really trust your intuition trust the process and that in the month of july your intuition is going to be so on point your psychic visions are going to be so on point but keep your eyes on the prize don't get dissuaded by a temporary setback or something that just doesn't 
doesn't seem like it's working out perfectly right now because just know that in the cosmic scheme it is working out 100 perfectly and that you have this whole team working on your behalf on the other side and you're being guided and aligned with something amazing because i can feel it so strongly in you pile three you guys are going after some goal or you have some big life purpose it just is coming through really strong and if this month just seems like a whatever month that's okay because what it means is in the long term you guys are still on the right trajectory on the path to achieve it i can feel the success vibration around you so let this month pass who really cares keep working towards what you want and don't let anything negative phase you in the meantime so anyways i really hope that helped pile three let me know if it did in the comments i always love hearing from you i love hearing your guidance your or not your guidance <laughs> although yes i love hearing that too but i love hearing your reactions and whatever you think so let me know for sure um also make sure to give this reading a thumbs up hit the like button you guys and make sure to um, follow hit the bell so you can find out as soon as I post next and if you guys want to see more of my readings head on over to my patreon where I post all my additional readings I just posted one all, all about how you can improve your psychic abilities and your psychic gifts and serve the collective with them so that's a really good one to watch and if you guys sign up you get access to over 55 additional readings about life spirituality career relocation so many different topics to choose from so if you guys want to join us i would absolutely love to have you over on patreon and the link for that is underneath the timestamps in the comments and the description and if you guys want to get a private one-on-one -on -one reading with me you can also get that at my website briarrosetarot.com and i'd love to do a private reading for you the link for that is in my description as well thank you guys so much for watching and i am sending you so much love and light i'll be back very soon for another reading so take care guys and i'll see you then Bye.